Hi everyone, this is Shweta. Welcome to the Innovative Workspace. Today we will learn about the how we can create a child flow in Power Automate. So first understand what is child flow. So child flow is nothing but we can use the small task in a bigger flow. So like suppose for example we have a employee onboarding system on that when an employee is onboarded in a company they have multiple tasks one is the for the hr hr documentation task next is the it setup task and their their id creation task so these type of tasks we can create as a child flow with a smaller a smaller one and then we can use it in a parent flow so let's see how we can create a child flow in power automate so first thing when we are creating a child flow we need a solution without solution we cannot use the child flow so here i am creating a new solution in power apps select publisher create now first i am creating a child flow after that i will create a parent flow so here we have to note it like when we are using a child flow on that time we can only use the instant flow we cannot use automated or the schedule this manual trigger i am giving email the value it will be come through the parent flow send an email So here for two, I am taking as a dynamic content my email. Any time we are using the child flow, we have to always use one action which is respond to power apps or flow. so we can use this action without it if you will not use this action your parent flow will be not saved save once save is done you have to also change one setting select your child flow go to the details here we have option for the down only user click on edit and then change your connection use this connection okay say so what it means so it means when the user will be only trigger the parent flow okay so if user is trigger the parent flow then the connection of child flow is not that same person now i am creating a parent flow for it
parent flow can be anyone which is automated instant or scheduled we can use any of the action for now i am using instant manual trigger I am taking here email. After that, we will run a child flow. Run a child flow. Now the options will be open. You can select your child flow. Then it's my email which we used in the child flow we have to pass that so here we will use this email one save let's test it It is asking for the email. I am selecting an email. Run flow. Now you can see our child flow has been done. Let's see in the outlook. You can see. So basically, we are using child flow when our parent flow is very bigger, and we can reuse our child flow. That's all about the child flow. Thank you. Thanks for watching.